<laughs> Let's stay on taxes and bring in Steve Siebold, author of How Rich People Think. Steve, the rich um, voted, not in overwhelming numbers, but they certainly gave many of their votes to President Obama in the last election. Now, the rich, rich people in America are going to have to pay higher tax rates. You, you, you know the rich. You know all about them. You, you're with them all the time. You write about them. How do they feel about this? Well, I think the, the bottom line is, Stuart, that they vote, the rich voted, the rich that voted for Obama voted for Obama based on his social policies, not his fiscal policies. And I don't think they're any happier about the, the, the fiscal policies than anyone else, except maybe uh, the, the very, very wealthy, the Don, you know, maybe the, the Michael Bloombergs and the Warren Buffetts. I think there's a distinction here between wealth, accumulated money, which you sit on and which is not taxed, and income, cash flow, which is taxed. Um, I, I think there's a distinction between the two. So when I say the rich, I guess I'm primarily referring to wealthy people who have accumulated wealth and they're sitting on it. They don't care if other people pay higher tax rates on their income. I think that's the group of people that we're talking about, isn't it? Absolutely. They're, they're showing the wealth of this, the ultra wealthy can show very little income. So they're, they're not, Warren Buffett's not worried about, you know, who, if, if someone that's, uh, that's got a net worth, let's say, of, you know, less than $5 million pays more taxes. I mean, he's got so much money, he'll never see most of the money he's got. But then so on the it's, other, a, it's the, a completely different game. It is, it is a different game. But now address those people, the strivers of this world who have income on the books, very high income, whether they're sports people or entertainers or whatever it is that they do, entrepreneurs, for example. How do they feel about the higher tax rates, which are really going to hurt them, and many of them actually voted for it. How do they feel now? Well, I don't think they feel very good at all. I mean, I, I can't find anyone, Stuart, who's happy about this situation. And of course, at this point, right now, hours away from going over the cliff, we don't even know what the rules are. So I don't think re people, even people that voted for President Obama, know what the rules are. So I'm not sure we can really say if they're happy or not, because what, what's, we don't, how can we play a game that we don't know the rules to? Of those rich people that you know and that you follow, what are they doing year-end tax planning? What are they doing? Well, I think they're, they're, you know, they're trying to move their money so they're not taxed. I mean, they're transferring their, what I'm hearing is they're transferring their businesses and their kids' names, I mean, to avoid the estate tax. I mean, they're doing all kinds of different things. They're taking dividends now instead of later. I mean, it's, you know, there's all kinds of different strategies. But again, the, the, the wealthy can do these things. What about the, the family of four making $250,000 a year living in downtown New York, who is obviously not wealthy? They're the people that are going to get really hit the worst. Do, do you know of any wealthy people? I'm, I'm thinking of Gerard Depardieu, the Frenchman who's gone to live in Belgium because of the high tax rate. Do you know any rich Americans who are leaving because of the incoming high tax rates? I know of a lot of Americans who are talking about leaving. The problem is where do you go? That's the, number one, that's the number one conversation I've had since the election with the wealthiest. Where do we go? Everyone seems to have this in their head to some degree, but this is the greatest country in the world. I think most of us would agree with that. Where do you go? I, I, it's, it's, it's a hard question. Well, what names do they come up with? I mean, I'm thinking maybe Singapore, uh, Cayman Islands, uh, Switzerland maybe, the Channel Islands. Um, do those names pop up? Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, I'm hearing the same names you are. I mean, that's exactly the same in Switzerland, of course, right. But so far, they're just thinking about it. They're just talking about it. They're not actually doing it yet. I, no, because they're, they're talking about it, I think, because they're angry, yeah. uh, like a lot of us are about the election results and, and this whole fiscal cliff and the debt ceiling and all the craziness that's going on. But uh, where do you go when you live in the best country in the world? It's pretty tough. Yes, it is. You're angry, aren't you? I am. I am angry. I am. Yeah, you know, fill that out a little bit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, it's, our, it's just a, it's a tough conversation to have. I, I just cannot believe we re-elected President Obama. I still, I'm still in disbelief, frankly. I've, I've heard that from a lot of people. We can't believe it happened, but it did. Steve Siebold, thanks very much indeed. Give us a report on what the rich are actually going to do come the new year. Thank